done with your bad stand-up routine? Almost. But you always gotta end on your best joke. So there is a lot of drama surrounding Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League right now and the problems that game has. And I mean that game has a lot of problems. But this main focus of controversy is a certain scene from the main campaign of the game that has angered and disappointed a lot of fans. And well the game isn't even like fully out yet, it's still in early access. Now before moving forward, I am gonna have to issue a spoiler warning. Uh, I don't think anyone really cares but yeah, here we go, spoiler warning. So okay now, the scene in question we're talking about is Batman's death scene. Mostly how it is handled and how he dies. I don't think a lot of people have any problem with him dying. Uh, most of the criticism is spawning because of how terrible and disrespectful his death is. Now I'd say that anyone with a single brain cell would have predicted that it was going to happen. I mean it is literally in the name of the game. The game is called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. It is not called Cure the Justice League. It is not called Save the Justice League. Now the other Justice League members are also legendary and beloved by fans. But the major issue here is still Batman. And that's not just because of how terrible and disrespectful his death is. That is also because it is not just some Batman. It is our Batman. It is the Batman we all grew up with. It is Kevin Conroy's Batman. It is Rocksteady's Batman. It is the Batman we all love. It is the Batman we all connected with through three mainline games created by people who love these stories and characters for people who love these stories and characters. So what went wrong? Rocksteady is one of the most beloved video game studios. Well, at least they were. And the Batman Arkham games are not just some of the best superhero games out there, but they're also some of the best Batman stories and cinematic experiences in any and all visual media. These games understand Batman, Gotham and the Alcium. And when you play these games, you feel like the developers made these for you to enjoy so that you can go across this journey with Batman so that you could feel like Batman, which we did for years. The Batman Arkham Trilogy concluded with the release of Batman Arkham Knight in 2015. And that game still to this day looks incredible. It still stands head to head with some of the most biggest AAA titles of the past few years. And that is absolutely insane. And well, even though Rocksteady did release a Batman VR game after that, Arkham Knight was the last mainline entry in the Arkhamverse, as it has been dubbed until now. Flash forward to 2024, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is in early access and being rained down by critical hammers and fan backlash. And it is not the type of game any of us would have expected Rocksteady to make in this universe all the way back in 2015. And even though a Suicide Squad game was teased, uh, in the Batman Arkham Origins game, the prequel to the Arkham Trilogy that was made by WB Games Montreal. I don't think anyone would have expected Rocksteady to go in the direction of a live service game. Now WB Games Montreal was actually the studio that was first heading the Suicide Squad game before it got shifted to Rocksteady after their multiplayer project that they were working on got cancelled. 
द गेम फाइनली गॉट रिवील्ड इन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी एंड इवन आफ्टर दैट इट फेस्ड अ टर्नस ऑफ डिलेज विद इट्स इनिशियल रिलीज डेट विच वॉज सपोज टू बी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड ड्यूरिंग इट्स सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट टाइम रॉक स्टडी अपेरेंटली स्ट्रगल टू मेक इट वर्क ऑन मल्टीपल ओकेजन्स एंड दे सेट दैट दे वर्न रियली फेमिलियर विद द जॉनर दैट्स काइंड ऑफ जस्ट लाइक another way of saying they didn't know what the fuck they were doing and what was this genre well the game was revealed to be a life service looter shooter where the players would take control of four different characters from the suicide squad and save metropolis from brainiac his army and the justice league that was well corrupted by uh, well brainiac <laughs> and as the game got closer to release we started seeing more and more stuff and people's excitement and interest started getting lesser and lesser now at the end of 2022 the co-founders of rocksteady jamie walker and sefton hill with a bunch of other veterans left the studio to open another company and well that could have been a fucking coincidence but it also could have been a red flag because not just a month later it got leaked an image got leaked and circulated online that showed how deep the life service elements in the game would go and it showed stuff like virtual currencies and battle pass which didn't make things easier for the marketing and reception of the game even before its release because of how games like avengers were received recently by the public and critics now this wasn't the end of it things just kept getting worse for rocksteady and suicide squad kill the justice league as just a month later they revealed that the game would require an active internet connection even when playing solo and well as the game got even more closer to release rocksteady didn't apparently give out review codes to some outlets because there was concern among the company about the critical reception of the game because of how poorly received some of the early previews were and on the day of the early access release day a few days back the game servers were shut down for several hours because of a bug that completed the game for players upon opening the game without doing anything well can't really blame the game right i mean how bad could it be when even the game itself doesn't want you to play it <laughs> now this concept and premise of playing as the suicide squad and killing the justice league i mean it sounds cool as fuck on writing and i won't lie it could have ended up being extremely dope if executed nicely but that doesn't really happen in this game now let's move back to the big elephant in the room the root of the controversy and backlash the death of batman and well as i mentioned before our batman now i don't think a lot of people or even most of the people would have had a problem if it was just a new and different iteration of batman or if it wasn't set in the arkham verse and not a continuation of the arkham trilogy but unfortunately it is and people will tell you to ignore it and say that just pretend it's not canon but it is and sometimes it's hard sometimes it's hard to pretend something like that because we as fans kevin conroy and batman himself deserved better they deserved a better proper send off than just getting shot in the head by harley quinn after a cheesy as fuck one liner guys this is this is what batman's final line in the arkham verse is This is Arkham Batman's final dialogue and fi- the final thing he says before he just fucking dies. Are we done with your bad stand-up routine? I just heard it. I literally just heard it. I heard the whole thing in my trailer and I've got to say in all honesty, um it's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. Everyone's laughing by the way, but it's true cuz everybody's heard it too. Everyone heard it, right? They look at all everyone's like, "Yeah, big piece of dog shit." Now, at least they chose the best person out of those four people for it. But it's still a fucking terrible scene. I don't know why I even said that, but still let let me give them something, some pity. And uh, well, 
even if the jongler himself came back from the dead to do this it would still be a terrible scene it's completely and utterly disrespectful not just to batman kevin conroy's legacy or the fans but to rocksteady themselves as well it is just shitting on years of games and the journey arkham bruce went through and even though the tribute for kevin conroy and the end is really nice it still doesn't repair the damage that all this has done to rocksteady's reputation and their batman i would say this is just as worse as what disney and lucas films did to indy and luke and this is kind of like that bad ending in red dead redemption 2 when uh, arthur gets shot in the face by mica and doesn't get to see the sunset but worse the position rocksteady is in now is just really sad to see as someone who's a really big fan of the arkham batman games now back to suicide squad ktjl i am not much into looter shooters i am not someone who likes playing these types of game much but i have seen a lot of reviews from people that do and even most of them don't think that this game has a fun enough gameplay loop to keep you engaged for months and months and that is what the game is aiming for and if it's going to fail at that and they're also disrespected and shit on one of the best characters in the history of fiction and the protagonist and hero of their previous games then it's just really sad to see how far rocksteady has fallen i was actually hoping that i would be proved wrong for the last few months but sadly people all our fears have come true and what is happening to the studio that we loved what is happening to these games that we loved and um, what did they do to this character we love and how brutally they disrespected him it is just every fan's nightmare i think arkham batman kevin conroy and us fans deserved a lot better than getting shot in the head by the suicide squad i don't know what else is there to say than that batman for sure deserved a better that he deserved a proper better send off than what we actually got and now if you guys like this video i would really appreciate if you like and share it and subscribe to the channel if you want more similar video game related content and i just really hope rocksteady can win us all back but i don't think that's going to happen You're, any soon you are yeah i'm man